Hi everybody, Don Brown here and welcome to Invent Yourself Rich. Today is February 11th and it happens to be a very important birthday. So let's see if you can guess whose birthday it is. I'm going to give you a little hint here. Okay, did you guess? Pretty simple, right? Well, you should have guessed Thomas Edison. All right, probably the most famous inventor out there. I mean, the guy behind the light bulb, the actual filament that made it work. And, you know, what's really special about Tom is, um, you know, he is looked at as, you know, to all inventors out there as the guy. The one has taught us so many things. I mean, yes, the light bulb now is used as an icon for an idea. And, you know, obviously it came from such an inventor as Thomas Edison. But more than anything, Thomas Edison has left us a lot of gifts. You know, if you read his biography or if you read a lot, some of his quotes, you will find some really great secrets that he's left us so that we don't have to make a lot of crazy mistakes. And what I'd like to do to celebrate Tom's birthday is share some of these uh, great gifts that he's left for us with all of you. All right, so first of all, you should know that Thomas Edison left us a gift of persistence. Okay, he tried over 3,000 times till he perfected that light bulb so it would stay lit and actually, you know, produce light and work. You know, other people came up with the light bulb, but it was Edison that perfected it. He made it work. He gave us the practical light bulb. Edison also gave us probably a better invention, all right, his greatest invention, which was the uh, commercialization of light and power. You know, Edison was the first one to string it all together, have those light bulbs, you know, throughout a house to hit a switch and actually give power to an entire city. All right, so everyone here listening today needs to give Tom a little credit for really teaching us a bunch of different secrets when it comes to inventing, but more so the lights that you have on in the room right now. Thank Tom for that. So here are some of the uh, secrets that I have discovered hidden within each of his quotes. Okay, secret, I call this secret lesson number one. This is a lesson that Tom wants you to learn from his quote. Anything that won't sell, I don't want to invent. Its sale is proof of utility, and utility is success. All right, so what does that mean? Well, here again is my interpretation. The secret lesson that I have um, uncovered from this quote is don't file a patent until you have a product that people want to buy. I mean, he made it very clear. Anything that won't sell, I don't want to invent. All right, it makes perfect sense. So why run out and file on a patent on an idea until you know it's something that people want to buy? All right, great lesson here. Okay, let me show you another one. Secret lesson number two. Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Okay, here's what I found hidden within that quote. Ideas are easy. That's the 1%, the inspiration. It's easy to come up with ideas. Turning them into products that people want is the hard work. That's the 99% perspiration. So what I want you guys to get from this is don't think for one minute just because you have an idea that someone's going to run out and, and develop it for you and uh, put all the time and money and energy into it to turn it into a product and you're going to split it with them just because you had the idea. You know, every week I have inventors contact me saying, Don, I have a great idea. I don't have any money. I'll split the idea with you. But the ideas are easy. That's only 1%. You need to spend your energy, your time on developing your idea into a product that people want to buy. That's how you make money. That's how you get the, intention, the attention of investors. You know, that's when people will throw money at you when you have a great idea that's turned into a product that people want to buy. Okay, I'm going to give you one more today just to keep you motivated. Secret lesson number three. I love this quote. The three things that are most essential to achievement are common sense, hard work, and stick to -itiveness. Okay, what did Edison mean by that? Well, here you go. His secret lesson. Focus on simple products that solve common problems. All right, now what does that mean? That's the common sense part. Simple products that solve common problems or frustrations. So use common sense. Don't go out and try to create the next DVD player. You know, that's very complex. It's going to cost millions of dollars. And the consumer, they're not even looking for the next, you know, method for delivering music. So the point I'm making here is look at simple products. You can make a lot of money. Something as simple as an ab roller or a snuggy blanket. Okay? Again, now, hard work. That's take charge of your invention. All right? That's what I, I, I interpreted this part of the quote. You need to work hard. You need to take charge of your invention. 
Don't think that these invention patent help companies are going to do it for you. It's not going to happen. You need to take control, follow, follow a system like I've outlined in my book, and you will see it through success. Then finally, the stick to Two things here. I think Edison means don't give up when you know you have a product that people want and you didn't quite perfect it yet. Stick with it and see it through and it'll happen, just like he did with the 3,000 filaments. My um, version of also is never stop inventing. You know, there's going to be a time when you fail. It just doesn't work. You're going to have to turn your back on it and say, you know what? I figured out a way it won't work. But don't stop inventing. Don't get discouraged. You know, I had several failures before I had my home run. So that's the, the message here. The stick to double meaning. You have a great concept. You haven't perfected it, but you know people want it. Stick with it. If it's not a good idea and the feedback's not good, get rid of it and never stop inventing. Okay, well, again, I want to thank you for watching and listening. So apply these lessons, and all you need is one good idea, and you too can invent yourself rich.